Have you ever wondered what protects these tall skyscrapers from horizontal stresses of forces, like an earthquake or hailstorm? Yes, these buildings do have a real secret that we're going to reveal in our today's video. Welcome to our video on structural engineering. Today, we'll be exploring an important aspect of building design, the difference between shear walls and columns. Whether you're an aspiring architect, a curious student, or just someone interested in the world of construction, this video will provide you with a clear understanding of these two crucial elements. So, let's get started. In the realm of structural engineering, buildings are more than just steel and concrete. They are carefully designed systems that must withstand various forces, such as wind, earthquakes, and even their own weight. Shear walls and columns play a vital role in distributing these forces and ensuring the stability of the structure. Let's begin with shear walls. Think of them as the silent superheroes of building design. Shear walls are vertical elements made of reinforced concrete or masonry that are strategically placed throughout the structure. Their primary function is to resist lateral forces such as those caused by strong winds or earthquakes. When these lateral forces exert pressure on a building, shear walls transfer that energy down to the foundation, effectively preventing the building from swaying or collapsing. They act as giant vertical beams, capable of absorbing and redistributing these forces. Now let's shift our focus to columns. Imagine columns as the sturdy pillars that support the entire weight of a building. Columns are vertical load-bearing elements, often made of steel or concrete, and they carry the vertical load from the superstructure down to the foundation. Unlike shear walls, columns primarily resist compression forces, which are caused by the weight of the structure itself and any additional loads it may carry. They provide the necessary strength and stability for the vertical components of a building. Now let's shift our focus to columns. Imagine columns as the sturdy pillars that support the entire weight of a building. Columns are vertical load-bearing elements, often made of steel or concrete, and they carry the vertical load from the superstructure down to the foundation. Unlike shear walls, columns primarily resist compression forces, which are caused by the weight of the structure itself and any additional loads it may carry. They provide the necessary strength and stability for the vertical components of a building. So, what are the key differences between shear walls and columns? Shear walls mainly resist lateral forces, ensuring the stability of the building during seismic events or strong winds. On the other hand, columns bear vertical loads, supporting the weight of the structure. While shear walls are usually thicker and located at specific locations, columns are dispersed throughout the building, forming a network of vertical support. And there you have it. Shear walls and columns are essential elements of any well-designed structure, working in harmony to provide strength, stability, and safety. So, the next time you marvel at a towering skyscraper or admire the intricate design of a building, remember the crucial roles that shear walls and columns play behind the scenes. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has shed light on the difference between shear walls and columns. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more, feel free to explore our other informative videos on structural engineering. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of architecture and construction.